Hello guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to talk about uh, GTK uh, dialog and uh, as you can see we have it right here which is a widget which derives from GTK window, GTK bin and so on. It says uh, GTK dialog it is uh, a dialog which creates a pop-up window so basically it is something like for example when I go to help about Firefox here you see we get this window right here this is a dialog window something like this and uh, let us check its uh, description first as you can see here it is a long description but we are going to take the short one dialog boxes are a convenient way to prompt the user for a small amount of input to display a message ask a question or anything else that does not require extensive effort on the user part gtk3 uh, treats a uh, gtk plus uh, sorry treats a dialog as a window split vertically the top section is a gtk vertical box and is where widgets such as gtk level or entry should be packed. The bottom are is known as the action area. This is generally used for packing buttons into a dialog which may perform functions such as cancel, ok or apply and so on. And then we have a lot of things, we have a lot of uh, examples and then goes with the function itself. As signals we have close and response to signals. Uh, properties which we have is the header bar if it is, uh, should be used or not and uh, of course uh, let us see uh, if there are some other things which we can use no they are not okay whatever anyway let's see we have a bunch of functions here I just checked them some of them and I saw that a lot of them they are deprecated they are marked as deep case, so we are not going to use them but first thing first let us see what's the story with GK dialog new a thing which uh, a lot of people uh, make mistake to use it in the wrong place and you will see that in a moment so let us uh, create a dialog GTK widget dialog and then of course we are going to to point this widget pointer to our GTK dialog new function. Anyway, uh, now let us think a little bit. Probably you are thinking that you are just creating a dialog window, and by calling this function, as you already know, you will you will try maybe to point it or to put it in a con into a container maybe in uh, windows container itself let us run the program now the way it is and see what happens gtk widget show the yeah, dialog i'm just printing because i needed to use it to silence my compiler it does complain all the time about this let's see what happens as you can see, we have here a small window which is called dialog. Uh, let us fix this thing. Um, this means we are going to give a title to this dialog. So GTK we window set title GTK window because dialog it also it is also a window itself. and let's say let us call it um, response or whatever okay now gtk let 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 us give it a better size gtk widget set size request and our dialog should be of 200 and 150 whatever Okay, now let us run it again and see what happens. As you can see, it works fine. Here we have two windows. We can interact with them, both of them. 
this one stays right here uh, and there are a lot of things which you can fix for example uh, I've been in the dialog uh, if you want to stop the user interactive with the main window with this one then we can do also but we are going to talk not now about them anyway uh, I'm going to close and says GTK dialog method without a transient parent this is discarded so that being said uh, it is the wrong way how you try to communicate with uh, this widget so this means uh, you are not going to create a widget inside of your main function at all this means uh, you create a dialogue after the user for example press a button or something like here where about it uh, it is from code blocks you see this one this dialogue right here about dialogue and uh, of course uh, these kind of things we are going to talk about them um, uh, in the next tutorials anyway uh, about a warning which you get it here which says uh, GTK dialog method without the tries and parent this is the garage uh, maybe maybe some of you you are trying to work with uh, let me call the GTK Windows set tries and four so gtk window gtk window okay just for a second i want to show something okay i clicked the wrong link there is it now let us search for the gtk window set transient 4 GTK Windows set right for where are you? Where are there? It's right here and says dialog windows should be set transient for the main application window they were spawned for. From sorry, this allows window manager to, for example, uh, keep the dialog on the top of the main window or center the dialog over the main window. GTK dialog new with buttons, it is another story. We are going to talk about it uh, later passing out for the parent and sets the current transfer so that being said if uh, you call this function and uh, just after you create it right here for example and this you say the gtk window it will be our dialog so gtk window window uh, dialog and the next one will be our parent which is the window itself so maybe some of you you are thinking that uh, by calling this function it will fix the things like gtk window the best element two which is the window and of course we need uh, again the gtk window cast gtk window test for the second argument and now as you can see everything looks fine and the warning is gone so basically this is how it looks like when you are creating a, a new dialogue which uh, I'm strongly suggested to not do something like this I mean it is nothing here important for you to to do something like this just for that maybe it is important if you want to create some uh, other windows and uh, you want to use them uh, as um, second um, uh, tool window or something for your application but there are a lot of other ways to do it instead of doing something like this but as you can see it works fine we have no warning we have nothing so the program compiles fine and by doing this uh, you manage to succeed uh, creating your first um, your first uh, dialog um, GTK dialogue, dialogue uh, window or uh, pop-up window which uh, you may want to use it into your application okay so that being said uh, this is uh, in, it is enough for today thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys